and welcome to the Sponsorship Spaces Highlights Recap for the week of April 25th. Our video will take you through the latest endorsements and partnership deals and will give you a better idea of the sponsorship industry. My name is Danielle and I'll be your host. The biggest news this week was the approval of a three-year pilot program to sell advertising space on NBA game jerseys. Starting next season, teams will be able to partner with corporate sponsors to wear their logos on the left shoulder. This will make the NBA the first major US sports league to allow ads on jersey. And depending on the team market size, the revenue could exceed $100 million annually and this would be split between the teams and the players. It will be interesting to see how this program impacts other major leagues including the NHL and the NFL. Next up, Taylor Swift and Apple Music continue to dominate the advertising world with a new commercial. Last week, Taylor published a video for Miming to the song The Middle by Jimmy Eats World. In just two hours, the video secured 2 million views and over 750,000 likes on Instagram. The Apple ad is the second one to feature Swift in the last month, with the first featuring Taylor running on a treadmill listening to the song Jumpman by Drake. With Taylor Swift's 150 million followers, she has become fundamental to Apple's marketing strategy. Swift clearly helps Apple stand out in a very crowded streaming marketplace. Last but not least, let's talk about Kobe Bryant, whose last game was something straight out of a movie. Not only did he lead the Lakers to a victory, but he scored 60 points on one of the most historic nights in regular season basketball history. So how does this tie into the sponsorship industry? Well, Kobe sported a body armor towel despite the NBA's exclusive agreement with Gatorade, not only during the game, but also during his post-game comments. Additionally, during the post-game press conference, Body Armor products were positioned on the media table. Apex Analytics reported that Body Armor received $830,000 in brand value through the media exposure. It looks like Kobe, who owns 10% of Body Armor, took a page out of the Peyton Manning retirement book. That's it for today. Tune in next week for some more highlights. I'm Danielle Maley for the Sponsorship Space.